Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Fortnite Creative tutorial video that will show you how you can use one of the latest additions to the Fortnite Creative 1.0, so this is Fortnite Creative Classic, not UEFN, Fortnite Creative Classic devices, which are the cameras, more precisely fixed cameras that you can now add to your island and do a lot of stuff with them, but I'm going to just showcase one of the simplest things that you can do to basically try out the camera. So right now I already have the camera selected, but let me show you how does it look like. So under devices, you have your cameras. You can see these are all new devices relatively, four of these. Uh, and the camera, we're going to use camera fixed position or fixed point, and it's already placed in my quick bar, as well as a trigger, or more precisely two triggers that we're going to use to showcase what the camera can do. So let's place it immediately and see first of all the camera. So here it is. Let's point it, uh, let's say we'll rotate it to a different position. So here's the camera and we can place it for example here. And right now the camera is pointing towards this overpass and we can start by, as you can see it's called fixed point 2, I already have one camera in the level. We can begin by checking out what does it do. First thing you'll see is the creative preview. When you go for start you basically see what the camera sees. We're going to stop, we have your priority add to players on start, we're going to turn that off, otherwise you're going to get the same camera perspective as soon as you start the level. And we're going to leave the rest of the options on. You have your all options, advanced options that are somewhat more complex. But so far we, you have your easy in out, linear is in, is out and both options. Uh, which is kind of a combo of camera settings from things like other regular softwares for camera manipulation in use. But for now we're going to leave all as is and we're going to use a system of triggers to turn on and then turn off the camera. So we're going to set the first trigger right here. And once the player enters the same trigger and activates it, we're going to turn on the camera and then we're going to use a second trigger here, which is going to turn off the camera. Now. I need to, both of hovering, but it doesn't matter. I need to once again edit the camera by saying that functions enable when receiving from trigger one and add to player when receiving from trigger one, but remove from player when receiving from trigger two. So now, if everything works as it should, once I start the trigger, I will have my perspective like this, but then the perspective will change to camera fix point two, and I will still have my controls, I will still be able to control my character, but from this perspective until I reach this point when the camera should go back to my player. So that's all in theory, let's check out it in practice. So now I'm going to start the game and see if we manage to do precisely that. Here we are, the camera is not visible, here are my two triggers, so let's jump. Ah, there we are from the first camera and now we should go and I think I'm at the second camera. As you can see I'm controlling my player but the camera position remains the same and uh, let's see if I can manage to do it and I did it and the camera is back on me and the setup remains the same. If I do it again, the camera is back and I can basically go anywhere, do anything. I can continue to roam around, go wherever I like. As you can see, I can even engage in gameplay regularly. All the while my camera remains the same. Let's see if I can reach the trigger 2 and uh, 
I'm back. And that's the setup. Really easy, really simple, straightforward, but offers so much cool stuff, cool abilities and options that you can use in your Fortnite Creative Levels. So there you go. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, there is also other options for you to support me, including my Patreon page. I sell books on Amazon. But like always, simplest, easiest, cheapest way is to subscribe and be here for my new videos. Also, feel free to share this video with anybody who might find it useful. That's all for me. Once again, a big thanks to all of you. My name is Ivica. Have a great day and have loads of fun in your Fortnite creative adventure. Bye-bye.